So, not much has been going on since my last show, right? Just kidding. A Trump assassination attempt where he gets his ear grazed and now everyone is going nuts with conspiracy theories. Then Judge Eileen Cannon dismisses all charges against Trump in the Mar-a-Lago documents case and on the first day of the RNC convention. Coincidence? Then Trump picks J.D. Vance, the man who once called him America's Hitler, as his running mate for VP. And then if that's not enough, it seems like all the elite Democrats are wanting to get Biden to step down. It's nuts. Oh, by the way, I'm Arthur. Here at Arthur Ease Your Mind on YouTube, I'm an intuitive consultant and psychic advisor. So got lots of questions to cover, lots of topics. But in the meantime, let's start with the assassination. We received a lot of questions regarding the same thing, like from Annie. Was this attempted assassination in Pennsylvania staged by Trump and his minions? Or by Lacey, Arthur, what do your guides tell you about the shooting at Trump in the rally in Pennsylvania? Where does this take us from here? Looking forward to hearing your thoughts. Thank goodness you're here for all of us in these crazy times. Can't thank you enough. Well, you're welcome, but I also go crazy too, you know. Well, I am crazy. It's a whole nother story. So what is going on here? Well, everybody has their own opinions. There's lots of conspiracies out there. Was it an inside job? Was it Russia? Was it Biden? Was it this? Was it that? The deep state? Okay. This is what my guys are giving me. I'm just a messenger, okay? When I looked into this, I first asked, was this staged? I didn't get a yes. I didn't get a no. Then when I asked, what is the situation regarding this attempted assassination? I heard one word, manufactured. Now, I'm not going to say this whole thing was made up or manufactured per se, but something about this is a little off. You know, like the yogurt in the back of my refrigerator from two months ago. It's just off. So I kept on asking the guides and the only word they told me was manufactured. And then the first thing I do is when I turned on the TV, there's an advertisement about, hi, we're the manufacturers of. So to me, that was the guides telling me something manufactured. Now, what I do get is that there's going to be a lot of stuff coming out at the end of August and the beginning of September. There's a lot of stuff we don't know about. And I don't know if we'll ever know all the details, to be honest with you. However, what I'm saying here is something about this is a little off. That's all I'm going to say. And we'll wait till the end of August into September to figure this one out. Okay? Number one. Number two, Judge Cannon. Now, you may recall that I did say that she would be, quote unquote, off the case by the end of July, no later than August 20th. I've been saying that for a couple months now. Well, she's off the case. So what does this, so like Tracy asks, hi, Arthur, will the public ever find out which top secret documents were sold and to whom the highest bidder? Will the orange trader be held accountable for this? Thank you for the insight and snark makes my day. Well, to be honest with you, and I got so questions like this as well. She's off the case. Jack Smith has already gone and appealed. Now, what my guides give me is that the appeal will go through. They are not going to call it a dismissal. It'll go back to the court. However, Eileen Cannon is not going to be involved with this. Okay? Now, they may try and take it. Trump's people may try and take it to the Supreme Court again, saying the, the whole thing about a um, special counsel not going to work this time around because we've had special counsels through history i mean even bill barr appointed special counsels so what mr trump is so different well he is but that's a whole nother story now the whole thing with jd vance <laughs> janet asks who is the moron stupid enough to be vp is this person that desperate well, as you may recall, I predicted several weeks ago that J.D. Vance would be the, the pick for VP. 
And I actually felt there was a lot of things going on here behind the scenes. Was money behind it? I feel so. Was his wife behind it? The fact that she worked with Roberts and everyone? Yes, I feel so. And what got him over the finish line is when he put out there in social media, today is not just some isolated incident. The central premise of the Biden campaign is that President Donald Trump is an authoritarian fascist who must be stopped at all costs. That rhetoric led directly to President Trump's attempted assassination. Nothing like getting, you know, it's a good story. Don't let the facts get in the way, okay? Lone gunman? Republican? Conservative? Like I said, by the end of August, we'll know. But it was enough to get J.D. Vance in to the man standing next to the president. Because who loves him? The Heritage Foundation loves him. Money people love him. That's what it's all about. And speaking of the Heritage Foundation, the people that are behind 2025, which you know is going to take away every right that any of us have and makes Trump, well, they say king, but actually a god or demigod or whatever. And now that he's been shot, everybody thinks he's, you know, the second coming. He's not. Like, Carolissus asks, Amazing Arthur, do you think the Heritage Foundation will lose its tax-exempt status? I actually feel, yes, it will. I actually feel it will within two years. Okay? Believe it or not. Then, Brinkley asks, Hola, mi amigo. Got my popcorn ready for the solo show. Well, thank you. So, okay. The uber right, uber rich, uptight, holier than now, wannabe masters of the universe, possibly can't be possibly as dumb as they look, right? Did they expect a different outcome from broadcasting the Project 2025 doctrine? Was this a red herring? Is there a plan B? Something seems off given there's so much planning and scheming behind closed doors for years. Thank you. Well, as I've been saying this, they started this during the Bush years. This is not something that just sprouted out of nowhere. Now, Trump is denying that he knows anything about Project 25. Then again, the man... He has been known to lie now and then, right? So yeah, but the other thing about Project 2025, it's scary, it's horrifying, but one fun thing did happen. Lisa Ann asks, hey, Arthur, when our fabulous gay furry friends hacked the Heritage Foundation, what info did they get? Will certain bad deeds see the light of day from this? It's not like Project 2025 isn't bad enough but they seem to be proud of trying to turn our country into a dystopian hellscape. So what else was there to be found? Well, apparently this group of gay hacktivists calling themselves furries went in and were able to acquire who is behind it, themes, addresses, things of that nature. Now, of course, the Heritage Foundation is saying they were not hacked. None of this happened. Then where did they get the names from? Let Again, let's not let the facts get in the way of the story. In the meantime, Joe Biden. I mean, I don't understand why this elite group of Democrats are like trying to get him to resign or step down, trying to dismantle everything that this man has worked for. I'm really disgusted with some of the people. I won't name names. I'm disgusted. In the meantime, what my guides keep on showing me is that he is going to get through this. He's like, in the background is Gloria Gaynor singing, I will survive. And he will rise. He will get better. I mean, right now, I mean, the Republicans are basically, their attitude in the whole thing is hit him, hit him when he's down, kick him. But then we have some other people that are spitting on him, it seems. But guess what? They had him out and said he wasn't going to do anything after he lost to Iowa. And the next time. And the next state. And then he turned around and won. During the primary, 14 million people voted for him. And here's the deal. 
As far as I'm concerned, some of those elite Democrats can keep their money. When I woke up this morning, I really did some meditating on this. And what I kept on guiding from my guides, it's the everyday American person that is going to make this happen. He has been giving us everything that he can for the last three and a half years. So why can't we help him? Why can't we have his back? He's had ours. And when I look into this more, I'm not being Pollyanna. I do feel he gets better. And then there's some stuff coming out about Trump at the end of August. I really feel it's going to be connected to the Epstein stuff. And I feel there's going to be two women coming forward and they're going to have receipts. We don't know who they are yet, but that's going to get ugly. And then we have on September 18th, Trump being sentenced. And I'm telling you right now, my guides say that it's not going to be pretty for Mr. Trump. Citizen Trump. The felon Trump. Whatever you want to call him. And I still feel they may be putting him in a facility for a bit. We'll see what happens. In the meantime, watch the polls and ignore them. Know in your heart, it's up to us to vote. It's up to us to, you know, as I really see that, I'm riding Biden. Yeah, please do. All right. Because this whole thing about why are they doing this? It's, I'm not sure. I feel it's money and they're scared. But for Nancy Pelosi to be going behind the scene, apparently, I mean, she's 84, older than Biden. She's also an Aries, so she's kind of feisty. But I really feel that he's going to turn around, have a meeting with him quietly, and just put it like it is. I'm okay now. All right? We knew he was older when we voted for him. Is he out riding a surfboard every day? No. But he's getting work done. And doing a great job at it. So why have him stop now? In the meantime, I love this question. Kelly Taylor asks, Hi, Arthur. Will Taylor Swift publicly support Biden-Harris? Thanks for all that you do for us. You're welcome. And then Rosanna Dan asks the same thing. Will Taylor Swift come out to support Biden before the Democratic convention? We could really use her voice right now. I do feel she and the Swifties will be coming to the rescue. And now the whole thing about George Clooney. Got a lot of questions about him. I don't really want to waste too much time on him. I just feel it had to do with his wife. He had a beef to pick. And that's what all this is about. Um, but somebody asked, did Barack Obama have anything to do with Clooney's op-ed piece about Biden? No. No. Again, had to do with saving his marriage, I believe entertainment purposes only now boston dita asks or says hi arthur love your solo shows do you happen to see if biden wins in a landslide in november hopefully so much that the gop will have a hard time trying to object to the results of the election thank you for helping us remain calm you are welcome i do see a landslide and as i've always predicted that I don't see Trump crossing the finish line. Now, with the assassination attempt, people did ask me if when I originally said you have to be alive to be a president, if this is what I was seeing. No, it's not. I feel this is later on, what I keep on reading this is he's not going to be around. What that means, I'm not 100% sure. The guides are not giving me many details. They're just saying he'll be in a facility. So we'll see. Um, as I said to one person that wrote a nasty comment, questioning my abilities as a psychic, you know, believe what you want. You know, I do tease and say, make it all up and hope it happens, but that's really not the case. But at the same time, only God is a hundred percent. I just get what I get. I have a track record. 
a lot of us here have a track record. So that's all I can say. And I keep on saying he's crossing the finish line. President Joe Biden with Kamala Harris by his side. And he crosses the finish line and then a lot of things can start moving forward. And pretty soon it'll be like, Project 2025, what's that? They're going to try and indoctrinate people with it and everything like that. But believe me, if you read this thing, it is scary. And Trump, again, is saying he doesn't know anything about it. But if you read his agenda for 47, or whatever it is, it's the same thing. So there's one question from Sue Todd. A lot of people my daughter's age, 34, are having a hard time with Biden's dealing with Gaza. How, what can we say to help them be less upset and leading them to vote for Biden? Our daughter will vote for Biden holding her nose, but she told me plenty of people she knows are not voting. Well, number one, he did not cause the war. He's not responsible for Gaza. He's not responsible for what happened to Israel. He's just trying to keep things together. He's trying to help. He's a statesman. That's what he does. Now, as far as people not wanting to vote for him because of Gaza, he didn't start Gaza. He's doing the best he can, number one. Number two, tell your daughter and to tell her friends, you're not voting for one man. You're voting for an administration. You're voting for democracy. Or unless they want to realize that abortion is a thing of the past, trans rights are a thing of the past, gay rights are a thing of the past, civil rights are a thing of the past, voting rights are a thing of the past. Yeah, then don't vote. It's not a pretty picture, believe me. Now, I did it, uh, several questions regarding um, Trump and Epstein. Like Michael Turner asked, when will the full sort of details be revealed of 45's involvement with Epstein hired minors? And Mimi, Mimi asks, hello, Arthur, will Trump nefarious actions regarding Epstein be exposed to the voters? I say yes to this. I say that at the end of August, there's some stuff hitting the fan. It's not going to be pretty. They are going to try and tame the fan off, but the stuff is still there. And I said earlier, I feel there are two females that are going to be coming forward towards the end of August that have receipts. They have details. And I don't think a lot of people know who they are. And it's going to shock some individuals. One of them may be slightly known. And what she has to say is going to freak people out, which is a good thing. Now, this was a stupid question, and but I read them anyway, because I'm a stupid person sometimes too. Um, ask Arthur, I have felt that Trump had something to do with Alec Baldwin being charged and pursued the second time. Did he have anything to do with it? Pulling strings, ordering intimidation, Alec intimidated Trump on SNL for years imitated Trump. For, no. I mean, the man is petty, but I don't think he has something to do with this. Okay? So put that away. John White asks, Arthur, does Putin have the goods on Trump? Does Trump know it? And does that explain the dynamics of the relationship? In other words, is Putin controlling Trump? Yes, 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 and yes. For anything for his only. But I have said from day one that the dossier is true. You know, Republicans may believe in trickle down and on economics, but I think Trump was having something else trickle down onto the bed. It's a whole nother story. Now, I still love some of these questions because it means that you believe in Biden as well. Thank you for your calm. What happens to Trump after 2024, November 2024? He's a mess. He's a crying baby. He's also going to be indicted January 6th, Mar-a-Lago, Georgia. Okay? 
it's piling up. Regarding some U.S. politics and policies, more Quattro asks, please read on comprehensive immigration reform. Thank you. There will be immigration reform once the new administration comes in because there will not be this group of Republicans in the House fighting everything, making sure nothing gets passed, making sure everything's a crisis so that Trump can come in and fix it. Well, Trump's not going to be around there. All right. Immigration reform will be done. Within three years, DACA is going to be moving forward swiftly, more so than we know. Joshua One asks, love your solos. Thank you. News reports say Social Security cost of living increase for next year will be low due to inflation coming down. Two questions. One, will Bernie Sanders plan to increase Social Security by 200 a month for everyone? pass in the next Congress? Two, will the cost of living formula based upon a senior's typical expenses be adopted as well? Thanks for all that you do. You're welcome. I do this for all of you because I have no life. Um, basically, I do feel there's going to be an increase with Social Security and cost of living. I don't feel it's going to be a bare minimum. It's going to be fair. The one thing about President Joe Biden, he's very fair. He looks out for the seniors. Okay? And he looks out for everybody, not just seniors. But he knows what it's like when people have to pay $400 for insulin and he got it down to $35 a month. Come on. That alone should get him some votes. He took away a lot of student debt from people. What, now they're complaining about him? Please. Cynthia asks, hi, Arthur. My question is, will we ever see a time when Citizens United is overturned? I enjoy your show and love your style and wit. Thank you for being yourself. You're welcome. Yeah, the nuns didn't understand me in school, though. Remember, they threw holy water on me. Um, Citizens United is going to go bye-bye. Mark my words. Number one, the court is going to change. There are going to be people going bye-bye resigning or maybe indicted or impeached it's going to get ugly next year for the supreme court which will be great for us and citizen united will be part on the chopping block just like the republicans tried to get a get rid of roe v way believe me the democrats are going to be very successful in getting rid of citizens united and keeping it off all right and it goes back to what nancy's asking Hey, Arthur, when will President Biden start adding more judges to the Supreme Court? About when? I can't wait when it becomes fair for the American people. Thanks. It's going to happen. Okay? He's already talked about it. He's already mentioned it. Reform. Okay? And two people went after all of this. The sen um, people in the House went after Alito and Clarence Thomas for investigations. It's not pretty, people. And stuff that's going to be coming out is going to, like, just, you got to be kidding. They really did that? So, moving forward. Julian Wells asks, will Greg Abbott be in trouble for getting over, for going overseas while his date state is dealing with flooding? Yes. I mean, George Abbott only cares for one person, George Abbott. And my guys have always shown me he, the words they use are he gets his comeuppance. All right. So we'll just leave it at that. Now, another question What is the future for Representative Jasmine Crockett in politics? She's a superstar, superstar, in my opinion. In case you didn't know, she's an American lawyer and politician who is in the U.S. Representatives from State of Texas 30th Congressional District since 2023. Her district covers most of South Dallas County, Central Dallas, Dallas Lovefield Airport, and parts of Tarrant County. What I love most about her, she's in the Aries. March 29th. Yay! She's a go-getter, and she's going to go far. She's going to be a part of Congress for many years. And if they put turn limits on, 
she'll be there as long as she can be, believe me. And if you ever have some free time, go to YouTube. Put in Jasmine Crockett. See how she comes back to Marjorie Taylor Greene and Lone Bobart and all the... How would Annie Wilkes call them? The wackadoodles? Yeah, wackadoodles. So yeah, it's fun. Now that is worth popcorn. Okay. Now, Lynn Jensky asks, love your solos. Does Bob Casey win the state, his Senate race? Thank you. For those that you don't know, he easily defeated both challengers in May 16th primary, receiving 85% of the vote. On election night, Casey won the race with 59% of the vote, compared to 41% of incumbent Senator Rick Santorum. Casey's margin of victory was the highest ever for a Democrat running for the United States Senate in Pennsylvania. And he does win. Yay. He will win again. Now, there was one question that got to my heart. It was about environmental concerns from Rosie. Thank you for all that you do, Arthur. It is truly appreciated. And I appreciate all you guys sending questions and helping these shows move forward. Not a political question. I have read lately that the right whale is close to extinction. Are we going to lose this beautiful creature soon? My heart deeply prays they may come back, your Canadian friend, Rosie. Rosie, I do feel there's an effort being made that the right whale will not be extinct. You know, it's not been a case where The Star Trek Enterprise has to go back in time and get a whale and bring it to the future. Okay. Yeah. I'm a Star Trek nut. But anyway, no, I do feel that they, they're working on it and I don't feel it's close to extinction, but I do not feel it's going to be on the list of being gone. This is what we do most benevolent outcomes for things of this nature, besides elections and MAGA people and the rest. Now, I want to end this with what Sandy Dalnasado has to say. Let's not panic. Our Biden is here, so let's vote, vote, vote. Love, love, love. Dems, we got this. Love you, Arthur. I love you all, too. And that being said, yes, voting is important. There's a lot at stake here. But as I said earlier, it's not just about voting for one man. It's about voting for a whole administration. It's about voting for, do you want a dystopian life? And if you really don't understand what the word dystopian is, look it up. It's scary. Think Handmaid's Tale. Think 1984. Think all those science fiction things that, oh my God, how can they live like that? What That would never happen. Really? We're on a precipice of all this to happen, but you can stop it. Again, if you don't like Biden, fine. Do you really want Trump? Do you really want him and his minions telling you, oh, I'm sorry, you can't go to school anymore because we got rid of the uh, school board. Oh, not only that, we got rid of the Board of Education. Oh, um, we're going to teach you how to be good Christian nationalists. You're Muslim? We don't care. You're Jewish? We don't care. We're going to teach you our religion. Is that what you want? I don't think so. It's not what I want. Look, I'm not going to be not around for another 30 years, but many of you will be. And it's up to you for your children, your grandchildren. What kind of world do you want to leave them with? So vote blue. Up and down the ballot. I know I'm on my soapbox. See how I agree that taller? But serious people. It's up to us. It's heartbreaking to see the way some of the politicians are acting right now. But you know, when I first saw the national convention of the RNC 
the convention. And saw the antics and all the craziness and all the stuff. Here's a picture of it. As I watched and listened to these people while trying not to throw up in my mouth, there's one song that kept on going through my mind the entire time. That's entertainment. That's all this is. It's lies. It's propaganda. It's up to us to do something about it. All right? And then we can. So, vote, vote. And I always say, and somebody wrote me, you always say that your voting is like your life depends on it. It does. It really, really does this time around. Okay. So food for thought, people. In the meantime, take care of you. Take care of others. And if you're really going crazy, try and go to one of my guided meditations on let go of stress and anxiety or a fresh start or go to the playlist. Okay. But you can watch my other shows, but at the same time, it's all about you because we're all in this together. All right. So take care of you, take care of others. And above all, stay amazing. All right. So I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.